Hello, Sen here. So, I haven't been posting much, so for my YouTube, I wanted to go ahead and make something, even if it's a bit out of left field, uh, some, something for uh, my YouTube channel. So today, I'll be showing off and doing a tutorial for uh, my floating camera system uh, that I've been able to devise up in uh, Gmod. No, this is a really no. This is the bigger one. Um, I call this the the clock camera system, but really all it is is a it's a it's a floating camera that I'm able to control. So with the press of my comma, I am able to go into camera view, um, and I'm able to move this around, and I'm able to turn it too. And then I'm able to move it up and down, forward and backwards, and I'm able to turn it left and right. So effectively, I have a full 360 degree movement with this. Um, also, even though it's a bit uh, harder to see um, in the daytime, I can go and take it over to uh, a more darker area to show off the lighting. So as you can see, um, there are a bunch of lights, uh, and so you got this ambient light here. Um, this other flashlight, a lot of these are meant for very dark areas. Uh, this light, which is the brightest out of all of them, and then the fun one. I mean, uh, I can, uh, mix, uh, and match, um, kind of, kind of all of them. Uh, and so that's pretty much the big floating camera system. Uh, now for the small one, uh, I lovingly call this the rig machine, <laughs> or no, the, the rig marine. Uh, it's very fun. So same controls as last time. So this camera is specifically specialized uh, in going through very tight spaces. So it is uh, fairly slow. Especially when compared to the other camera uh, with its movement speed. But as you can see, it turns a lot faster. As you can see here. Um, and of course, it's really small. Uh, this can get through pretty much most tight spaces. So don't worry about that. I'm just running off this off a uh, external hard drive. So now... I will kind of show you how to make um, one of these, uh, how I kind of set this one. So first, you need a chassis. Uh, it is better to have something uh, kind of heavy um, so that it doesn't move around. So an issue, so I can show you the issue of having a very uh, light chassis. Uh, which essentially, their chassis is just to hold everything together. So the issue with this is even though this is smaller, or about as big as the last one, um, this one suffers from being at the whims of fate. And so this doesn't make for a very stable camera. So with your prop list, um, you want to kind of go and get a fairly small prop uh, that isn't super mov uh, movable. So, we'll, I'll be using this wheel um, as a chassis. Um, it seems okay. It seems it seems I... Um, I can put it on this wall to kind of uh, make sure uh, it's at a 90 degree angle. And the first thing we want to do is actually we want to get our hover balls. Um, so, what we want to do is... We want to place them kind of at the top and one at the bottom. Um, and this is a closer look on um, how I have my hover ball set up. And so if I undo that, that should allow me to kind of move it up and down, uh, which is kind of what we want. And then we can freeze that again. Uh, and then we want to put our wheel. Now, with, in order to have a good amount of churning, I just have everything set up to the maximum here. 
Um, but the most important uh, part about the wheel to be able to turn uh, the camera is actually its size. Um, and so, uh, let's see. So now we can undo that and I can see how well it turns. It turns really well. Maybe a bit too fast, but that's all right. Um, and I can now see if it's able to stabilize on its own, which it can. And so freezing that again. And so now we can get a thruster. Usually I start off at around 1000. So you can't have the thruster to, uh, so, so waiting is actually very important. It's pretty much the name of the game here. Um, with these hover balls, uh, they like to, s they tend to like to stay in place. Uh, they're pretty movable, but they like to stay in place. Uh, and so I have to make sure that the chassis is actually relatively heavier, uh, than, uh, the hover balls, which is slightly of like a slightly bit of an abstract thing, uh, but they need to be heavier, um, in order for them to, uh, kind of work properly the, the way you want them to, uh, for this floating camera rig. So I'll start off with one, one thing, and then I'll undo it, and then I'll see how it goes. And, and, and as expected, uh, doesn't do well with, uh, going forward. I mean, it, it kind of does it. Uh, and so what I can do, actually, is I can freeze this again. I'm going to try, I'm going to put this as half, half the power. I'll put this right here to hopefully stop it from, uh, no, nope, and that didn't work. Uh, so just like a lot of like trial, um, an erroring kind of going on. Let's see. And so that's pretty much perfect. But not really. Uh, but it's able to move like relatively straight. And then now I can bump that up to make it move better. And so now, as we see, um, and now that now that's too much. So one hundred and between one hundred and two hundred is kind of about where you want to be. Uh, and so you know this gets pretty frustrating because you know it's a camera and you want uh, stability, but this doesn't quite you know give it to you. But it seems like one twenty for this particular setup is good enough. And so now we can actually add uh, the camera. So I'll go freeze this. Um, and so with the camera, I have a uh, advanced camera and RT camera, but I think this is just a regular base camera in Gmod. Um, and so usually I do something like that. The camera cannot be physically touching uh, anything here. Um, and so that looks about right. I imagine the camera is just fine. Uh, and so what we can do now is we can weld it uh, to it. And then we can kind of test it out. And now we have successfully made our floating camera rig. Um, it's a bit wobbly. I, you know, just remember it needs to be like kind of heavier. Uh, the clock's a good one. Uh, but, you know, anything in your spawn list, as long as it's kind of heavy and, you know, you can do all this stuff with it, it should be fine. And so now for our last little bit uh, for the camera, we can actually have lights on here. Now I'm going to add one. Now I usually like to have lamps. So I'm going to do a nice lamp uh, with the square lighting. And then in order to attach that on easier, I'll have this one. Uh, what number? Okay, so it's left bracket. Um, and so that's pretty good. And so what I'll do is I'll kind of, kind of place it on here. That looks fine. Uh, and what I can do, so I can slightly change it to where it looks like that. And then I can weld it on over here. And then I can un unfreeze everything and boom. 
So now you have a floating camera that's controllable by, via you. Um, and it moves around, it has a light that you can do, and then boom. And so uh, now uh, I can show you a couple things you can do actually. Uh, so if you take out your like your own camera um, while still viewing uh, your floating camera, uh, what you can do is you can still actually move around uh, and everything. Uh, and so if you have a camera warp or kind of it, it, it's leaning uh, as, as much as you don't like, uh, you can change that. Uh, and so now, uh, you know, you can pretty it up by like changing the materials here, making some stuff invisible, but uh, this is fine. Um, so now what we can do is we can grab our duplicator. So this is like nine entities. Uh, we right click on it and then we save dupe. Uh, so now we can un kind of undo everything and then we can kind of put it back on and then uh, you know we can activate it by pressing up uh, with with however you have your little thing set up and actually this is pretty good uh, because there doesn't seem to be too much lean uh, with the camera and now you have this cool camera uh, you know you can you can do your machinimas you can move it around uh, with you and stuff. Now, and, and again, you can you can fine tune everything. This isn't like the end all be all um, and stuff. You have your, your lighting, uh, change that. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. And I'll I'll you know um, kind of um, I'll go ahead and uh, kind of um, have more of a. Uh, Kind of a thing where you can kind of look at how I have everything set up here with uh, my keybinds and everything. Hoverball. Yeah, those are the main movement tools. And then camera here. Yeah. And so that is how you do a floating camera rig in Gmod. We.